Not many people knew about it until a Larry Barker investigation. An empty field uses a lightning conductor for glowing art exhibits. It's partially funded by taxpayer money, but it's off limits to the public. As News 13 Scott Daniels found out, someone's trying to invade and get a free show. Scott? Alex, they say they won't ruin it. They want to hike in, watch the lightning spectacular, and leave. But sheriff's deputies say that's a death trap. The Lightning Field, just north of Pie Town in southwest New Mexico. It's an art exhibit of 400 stainless steel poles evenly spaced a mile wide. During monsoon season, lightning targets this area, lighting up the sky. Access, reservation only, limited to 1,100 visitors a year, costing as much as 250 bucks a person. People from all over the world pay to catch a glimpse. But one man from Portland, Oregon, an online user by the name of Chris Radcliffe, really wants to get in for free. He's taken to the web to seek advice on how to make his way to the lightning field undercover. People have tried to sneak in there. Um, that's not a good idea, especially if there's a storm brewing. Catron County Sheriff's Deputy Jimmy Jaramillo has some advice for Radcliffe. Don't do it, because you may avoid the bolts, but there's more danger ahead. Big game animals in freezing conditions, all on 5,400 acres of rugged terrain, not accessible by car, outside of cell phone range. We could get to you in time, and we could not. Um, there have been people that uh, have been found uh, a year later out here in, in canyons and stuff where they're off hiking and um, they just uh, they end up not finding their way back to their vehicle and they die. And that's the response Albuquerqueans gave Radcliffe on the web. Jaramillo says the sheriff's department resources are limited and search and rescue efforts can take a long time. You won't last long if you're stuck out there. Uh... Radcliffe did his homework. He says it's about a five kilometer hike into the lightning field from the road. Tonight in Catron County, they'll get about uh, upper 40s for tonight. But in a few weeks, average temperatures could go below freezing. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Scott. We tried getting a hold of the Dia Arts Foundation, which owns the land. They did not return our calls.